In this video, I'm going to show you how to create P prime charts using Sigma Excel. This example is taken from the Sigma Excel version 6.1 workbook. Now, P prime and U prime control charts are attribute control charts that should be used when the subgroup or sample size is very large. For example, a sample size of over 5,000 and assumptions are not met. Typically, you will see that the control limits do not look right, being very tight with many data points appearing to be out of control. This problem is also referred to as overdispersion. This occurs when the assumption of a binomial distribution for defectives or Poisson distribution for defectives is not valid. Individuals charts are often recommended in these cases, but Laney's P prime and U prime are preferred alternatives. Now, for an example of such a chart, you can see uh, the one on the screen here. You can see that this is one of those charts that doesn't look right, being very tight uh, with many data points appearing to be out of control. Um, now, to create the chart in front of you, which is just a basic P chart, as I've shown in a previous video, you simply click on the Control Charts button, select Attribute Charts, click on P, select Next. Uh, now, for this example, we're using a data set called Laney Quality Digest Defectives. It can be found in the sample data directory of Sigma XL. Uh, so select Defectives as your Y variable, N as your subgroup size, and click OK. And you'll see that it, uh, it creates a P chart. Uh, with a lot of the uh, symptoms of overdispersion. Now, to create the P prime chart, uh, as I said, open Laney Quality Digest Defectives. And this time, when you click on Control Charts, select Attribute Charts, but this time select P prime or P Laney as it's shown here. Uh, use the entire data set. Now, once again, for your P prime chart, select effectives as your numeric data variable Y. Select N as your subgroup or sample size, and click OK. And you'll see the resulting P prime chart is shown. And now we can see that the process is actually in control. Uh, Laney sigma is a measure of the overdispersion. And if you'd like uh, more information on Laney sigma, you can see the articles that are referenced in our workbook. Uh, it's under the P prime section.